CAT 2021 slot 3 question number 17 a tea shop offers cups tea in cups of different sizes three different sizes in fact the product of prices in INR of these three different sizes is equal to 800 so there are three different prices P1 P2 and P3 and their product is given to be 800 the first thing you ought to know the prices of the smallest size and the medium size are in the ratio of 2 is to 5. Okay, so we have been given the ratio of smallest and the medium size. Let us say the smallest is 2x, the medium is 5x and let us say the largest is y because the ratio of the largest is not given so I have to take the actual price and this product must be equal to 800. So, what do you get here? 10 multiplied by x square multiplied by y is equal to 800. If the shop owner decides to increase the prices of the smallest and the medium, so smallest and the medium price, the shopkeeper decides to increase by 6 rupees, so you will get 2x plus 6. And then the product changes to 3200 so you will get 2x plus 6 into 5x plus 6 into y must be equal to 3200 now if you look at the first equation there are a few ways of solving this one way is you could divide these two so if you divide equation 1 by 2 or equation 2 by 1 whatever way you want to consider it you are going to get x square y upon 2x plus 6 into 5x plus 6 into y is equal to 800 by 400 is 1 by 4 so this will be 1 by 40 and that means 40 times x square y is equal to okay you can also cancel out this y and this y so you don't need this y anymore so you get x square into 40 must be equal to 10 times x square plus 5 6 are 30 plus 2 6 are 12 so 42 x plus 36 and which translates to 30 x square minus 42 x minus 36 is equal to 0 we can still cancel it by 2 so 15 x square minus 21 x minus 18 is equal to 0. So, we can now solve this equation. We can now solve this quadratic equation to get the value of x. So, can we find a solution 150 to 40 and which means okay, we can still cancel this equation by 5x square minus 7x minus 6 is equal to 0 and what does this mean? So we get 5x square minus 10x plus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. So 5x into x minus 2 plus 3 into x minus 2 is equal to 0 x minus 2 into 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 which means x must be equal to 2 or minus 3 by 5 so we can ignore the negative value of x so now we have the three prices 2x 5x 2x is 4 5x is 10 so obviously the remaining price because the product is 800 4 into 10 40 the third price must be 20 and we have been asked what is the sum of the three original prices so you can just add 4 plus 10 plus 20 as 34 now this is one way to view it another way I would have viewed this is by trial and error you know the moment I got the first equation this is just an alternate method 10 x square y is equal to 800 so I get x square y is equal to 80 
So now I try to break 80 as a sum of one perfect square and one other number. So I can express x square into y as 16 into 5 or 4 into 20. So you get two possible values of x square. x square can be 16 or x square can be 4. Now you just plug in the value of x as either 4 or 2. So if you plug the value of x as 4, you will get three, three prices as 4 2s are 8, 4 5s are 20 and the third price is 5. This is not possible because the third price has to be maximum. So you can ignore this. So the only possible value of x is 2. So you get the three prices as 4, 10 and 20. So this alternate method can also be tried out in an exam situation to answer faster rather than solving this big, 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 big equation.